Over the course of the last 13 years, I've sailed enough miles to circle the entire world nearly three times. Visiting the shores of 46 different countries and six continents in the process. I've looked out the windows of Delos and seen pristine tropical paradises, remote mountainous forests, bustling cityscapes, and just about everything in between. But I've never, ever encountered a place like this before. We just arrived to some of the southernmost islands in the Sea of Cortez, but it felt like we had landed on an entirely different planet. Surrounded by some of the most delicious turquoise water we've ever seen, and under the shadow of towering Mars-like sea cliffs dotted the cacti, we woke up in our backyard of the day, ready to pull the hook and set sail to our next out of this world destination, Isla Partida. I'm happy to say that today's video is sponsored by AG1 from Athletic Greens. It's been like over a year since I started drinking AG1 regularly, and I have to say it's become a crucial part of my morning routine. One scoop, one minute, once a day, every day. That's it. AG1 solves two of the most important health needs, the nutrients your body needs each day and the foundation of long-term gut health. Together, they fuel whole body health impacting everything from sleep, digestion, energy, mood, immunity, to the health of your hair, skin, and nails. So just click the link in the description below or head on over to athleticgreens.com forward slash svdelos. If you do, not only will you support our project, but you also get a free one-year supply of vitamin D drops and five free travel packs of AG1 powder. That's it, thanks very much for your support, and now back to the show. We decided to head to a different spot today. We're gonna try our second Anchorage. Yeah. Um, it's up at the next island up, Isla. Mm -hmm. Is it Isla or Isla? I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna say Isla Partida. Yeah. And uh, it's a little bit of wind. Five Four months. knots. <laughs> We're gonna try and sail it. Four you. knots. You ready to sail, Lugs? Yeah? Okay. Let's go. Yeah, Calico is coming too. It's like seven miles. Short sail. Yeah, short sail day. Okay, let's do this. Okay, hook us up. Smooth sailing. Just enough wind to keep us moving. Look at this view though. It's just so spectacular everywhere you look. I love the desert. It just feels so open. Maybe it's because I grew up in the desert in Tucson, in Arizona. There's a special place in my heart. This raid will only take us uh, two hours to go five miles. <laughs> How cool is it to be able to take your sailboat from 
the jungle to the desert. It's yeah. pretty amazing, right? It's pretty insane, the contrast. Okay, we've got a jibe. We've got a jibe before we hit that cliff. Sierra, we have to jibe before we hit the cliff. Stop yelling into the fan. <laughs> Jibing! like a pretty sweet spot. What do you want to do today, Sierra? Stop being such a daredevil. Oh. Let's get some energy out. Whoa! Whoa. What a jump! It's supposed on? to be a walk. We heard at the end of this bay, uh, there's like a valley, and in between the valley, there's mangroves, and you can <coughs> apparently walk along the mangroves to the other side of the island, Ooh. where there's like a nice bay where we can hang out on the beach and swim. And our friends are going to come with us. Yay! We have friends! Yeah, we have friends. So we have One Life anchored right over there, and Calico Skies anchored right over there. And uh, we're just going to go hang out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Delos was anchored in this bay here on the east side of the Isla Partida, and today's mission was to traverse across the island through the valley where we would be rewarded with breathtaking views of this UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Are you hiking in the desert in your butterfly dress? I can see you. I met a wild companion. There's just something special about the desert, huh, Kaz? I know, look at this cat It's got like a beauty all to its own. Like that, what do you call it, needles? is like this long. Yeah. Holy. I love how we always choose the very hottest part of the day to go walking. It doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, it's hot or a little bit hotter. Or not quite as hot, but still hot. There's so many different kinds of spiky plants, like cacti. <laughs> Everything is like spiky. It's pretty amazing. Man, you really do get the perspective better when you see a person next to it. It's like, this is like thicker than me. I don't even have the whole thing in my frame. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. They're so massive. This tower of a cactus that Brian was standing next to is a Mexican giant cardon and is the largest species of cactus in the world. It's a slow-growing plant whose lifespan is measured in hundreds of years. Once mature, they average a height of about 30 feet, but individuals up to 60 feet tall has been recorded, and they can weigh up to a whooping 25 tons. Crabs? Everywhere, see Sierra, look at this. We made it. We made it to the other side. Here goes the drone. Whoa. Look at this place, Sierra. Hey, 
ready, Mike? Oh, that's so refreshing. That is amazingly refreshing. This is pretty cool, Sierra. Do you want to look under the water at the fishies? Okay, okay ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> what did you see? Wow, this is amazing, huh? <laughs> She's loving looking at this fish. It's so different. She's holding her breath a long time now. Yeah. Pretty good, oh, considering. Oh, is it? <laughs> She's. I think we have a new fish addict here. <laughs> She's like, Mom, look down there. There's fish. Okay. There's a whole world down there, Nux. It's a whole. It's like most of our planet, actually. <sighs> that okay. was amazing. Time to hike back. What a refreshing sun. I love huh? Sierra Sunjay. Sierra's got such a good little setup. <laughs> I know. She's like reminds me of one of those like desert dwellers that has a little <laughs> situation atop a camel. Yeah. Except I'm the camel. <laughs> We'd racked up quite a few engine hours this season as we battled less than ideal sailing conditions up the coast of Central America and Southern Mexico. I calculated the miles we've gone since leaving uh, Shelter Bay in Panama. It's like 2,092 miles. Cool. Yeah, and most of that's been motoring. <laughs> Sucks. Sucks. It's the most I've ever motored in my entire life. We'd run the engine for 257 hours since the last time I did an oil change in Panama, and since I was already covered from head to toe in sweat from our hike that morning, I figured there was no time like the present. Our trusty diesel has about 8,000 hours on it. If you were to drive a car for 8,000 hours at an average of 50 miles per hour, this would be the equivalent of 400,000 miles. Since I changed the oil and filter every 250 hours, I'm no stranger to the process. It's one of the things that I do religiously for preventive maintenance, and I think one of the main reasons why it still has good compression, burns no oil, and has plenty of life left. I always carry enough spare filters and oil to do a minimum of two full oil changes for both the main diesel and generator on board. Before I change the oil, I always like to run it for, I don't know, just like a minute, minute and a half, not very long. Just to warm it up, it makes the oil easier to pull out, although it's pretty freaking hot here, so I don't even know if I need to do it, but it's sort of a habit. Yep, it's working. All right, I'm gonna have to use both hands. So I'm gonna put this camera down and pump the rest of this oil out. It's not really that exciting. But having a pump like this really can make the difference between it being an absolute disaster and working pretty good. One of the things I also like to do when I'm changing the filter is uh, fill the filter up with oil, pre-fill it, so, um, so that you know during the first few seconds the engine has started, it can have a better chance of maintaining oil pressure because I, I think a lot of wear can happen um, before the filter fills up. So it's something I've always done. So I just take a little funnel and then I basically like pour the oil right into there. Then another thing I do so I take a few drops of oil and I just put it on the seal like that and then lubricate that a little bit. Now without spilling this, now we gotta get the old filter off, put the new one on. This is always the messy part too. Filter wrench right here, okay. Okay. The rest will go by hand. Okay, that's it. That's it, got it. Okay. All right, last step. Fill her up with clean oil. Start it up. Check the level, good to go. So far, we haven't had any disasters. I shouldn't speak too soon though. It takes about uh, five liters of oil, this one, plus the oil that I filled the filter with, so I think it's six in total. 
Okay, so it's just at the min mark now. So I'll add one more liter to bring it up to max. We'll call it good. Don't want to overfill it because if you overfill it, um, I heard that it can be fairly bad for the engine because uh, if the oil level is too high, it can create air bubbles and then it doesn't properly lubricate and produce oil pressure. I don't know whether that's true or not, but I figure why take a chance. So I just fill it up to max and that's good. All right, now for the most important part so that I know when to do the maintenance again is I always log the engine hours when I change stuff. So here's the Volvo. You can see this list is going all the way back to 244 hours, the previous owner, and then all the oil changes over the years. All right, now it's logged, and now I know when the next time I should do it is. After a sweaty day of hiking in the sun and toiling away in the engine room, we we're pretty happy to treat ourselves to some frosty margaritas and a bite to eat with cruising friends. We're looking good already. Puffing up. What are you puffing up? Pizza night. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Get wild>. yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sunday fun day. This is how we do it. We had our nice hike today. This is how we, we got do our topping it. set up. This is how we do it, Nugs. Gary's on the dough. The dough yes. man. Dough boy. Dough boy. Dough boy. Dough boy. <laughs> This is what we do. We drink and we make pizza. We, we pretend like margaritas and pizzas. Yeah, in civilization. It's about air conditioning. That's what's important. And air conditioning. The air conditioning. Don't tell anyone that. We're rough with yeah. it. Real tough. I've modified the ratio. What are we at now? What is the ratio? It's just double whatever they say. <laughs> double tequila. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh yeah. That's such a good sound. All right. Ooh. Tasters, yeah. tasters needed. That's some bomb dough right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dough boy's done good. It's perfectly crisp. <laughs> Come on, dough boy. It's really good. Wow. I'm surprised. Surprising we can make such good pizza. I in know. The of nowhere, huh? In our little like. That's a good team effort. Toaster oven. <laughs> All right, now we just drink margaritas and good night. Up next on Delos, Boom. we set sail under amazing spinnaker conditions. How good does this feel? Huh? I know, we're sailing, yay! And blow Sierra's mind by getting up close and personal with the sea lion rookery. All right, so this is a YouTube comment by Top Dog Josh. <laughs> Top, I love that yeah. name. First of all, let me say I love this video. I don't know which video it's on, but yeah. second, I wonder if Brian misses sailing with his brother as much as I miss Brian sailing with his brother. <laughs> come back, Brady. Uh, oh. Yeah, I miss sailing with Brady. It's so funny, you know. He was supposed to come across the Pacific Ocean, and mm -hmm. then he ended up staying ten years. Uh, well, <laughs> a little over 10 years and I love sailing with my brother uh, we had yeah. so many good amazing memories together and, and we're family and we still chat uh, but you know I think it was time for us to go on our separate ways you know we're starting a family yeah. with Sierra and Brady is starting his own business uh, with mm -hmm. Alex in Lake Tahoe mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and he's doing extremely well yeah. uh, so if you want to know what Brady's up to you can follow him on either YouTube or Instagram or Patreon. Uh, just search on Cruisers Academy, uh, mm -hmm. Cruisers and then A-C-A-D-E-M-Y. And he's running a sailing school. Uh, and I'm very yeah. proud of him. He has a couple of sailboats in Lake Tahoe and they have and a, a blue? bigger blue water blue boat water that they're going to sail from San Francisco down to Mexico and they're going to be doing offshore training. Mm -hmm. uh, so we hope that. to meet them too. Yeah, we're hoping to buddy down. boat with them, but uh, I do miss him. Hopefully we'll get to yeah. sail again together at some point we will yeah i feel like <laughs> that's Sweet. it i got it i got it oh sorry Whoa. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! <laughs>